I haven't even had my coffee yet. I'm gonna get it when I get to the next town over. I forgot to bring my chair, but I guess I'll just stop here for a minute. Get a little bit of proton stored in my batteries. First thing I gotta fix is all these uh, wires. So while I'm charging a bit, I'm gonna tape them up together better and make it so I can zip the thing shut. I can zip it shut if I get them stuff right. Well, I didn't do a very good job. I'm going to fix it when I get to a friend's. Oh, didn't even realize I could unplug it there. I was going to say I need to wrap this around. And I can get a little more cord. But it will do for now. Green light's back. I'm going to hit the road again.
heading pretty slow. Take a quick stop here for a sec and think. I don't have any charge left in the Timmy's I was gonna sit at. It's about a kilometer. A little over half a mile, I guess that is. I think I'm gonna just go. But I wanna have a green break and I'm trying to think if I go to Timmy's, Tim Hortons as we call it, then I'm not going to have a green break. They, they go hand to hand, right? I think I'm just going to go. It's windy and it's a warm wind, but when I started this morning, it was freaking cold. Every time the wind picked up, it was like a ice cold breeze. Oh, motor just started clunking. from the Tim Hortons, I'm gonna walk for a bit. I have my Timmy's. Just an old fashioned plain donut. Large two sugar, no cream. I think I got enough of a charge already to, hit, to get to my friend's house, but I'm gonna sit here for a bit, charge. I always end up pretty much walking home. So this time I'm determined to uh, actually charge. So I'm just gonna eat my donut, have some coffee, and we'll 
we'll head back out on the road. Okay. Pretty sure I got enough charge to just head to my friends now. We have a yellow light. or something. through the parking lot so I'm not riding on the road all day or the sidewalk. Got enough of a charge to walk up the hill using the throttle. Probably couldn't even see that. These long ride videos are kind of daunting because I do the whole ride. And then when I go and edit my city, silly video, I gotta relive the whole entire ride again. Oh, this would be no problem if I had some battery life. My trailer's gonna tip on this angle. My motor's just vibrating and I'm just giving her. Okay. I had enough juice to get across the road, but then I gotta walk. Oh God, truck, 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 truck. Low voltage cutoff right at probably 32 volts. That's the first time it's ever cut off.
Normally it just gets slow, but it actually cut off that time, so I want to see what I'm at. It's E11. 34 volts and climbing super fast, so it's probably like 32 volts with the throttle on. It's at that low po voltage point where it just flies up 2-3 volts because I just stopped. Oh yeah, there's nothing left. That sucks. I mounted my phone right in the middle. <laughs> Means I can't grab it there to... Oh, yeah, I guess I can. I just swivel the phone out of the way. I was say, that's where I hold when I'm walking. So, uh, my friends, literally down at the end of this road if you watch my videos you probably already know that i guess i'm uh can we get rid of this coffee actually no there's about half a coffee left i'm gonna cut the video off here start it again when i'm there Well, I didn't charge very well. I don't even have a green light, but I got a spot I'm gonna stop. It's almost grinding, but it was my gear, my chain in the gear. going to have to stop because I do not have the charge needed to get to my charging point. We made it about halfway to where I was going to stop. What do you think that's about? 
It's a pretty random place. There's always homeless people but near here. I made a new rule. I have to wait for the yellow light. Which is not quite glowing yet. So I gotta kill some time while I wait. I'm gonna take a risk and hope no one punks anything off my bike. I don't know if I can get down here without falling. Sometimes this pond dries right up. Some prime pollution. Oh, there's really nothing to see down here, is there? I almost drowned when I was a little kid. I used to walk along this ledge, and right at the end of that bridge, there's a 20 foot drop off. And during the spring and fall, this river isn't dried up like this, and it flows rough and I jumped in and I got caught in an undertow and I was about maybe six feet maybe further underwater just stuck doing circles like this and someone literally jumped off the walk bridge into the water grabbed me and brought me back up to the ledge I was thinking I was like maybe eight years old maybe ten I was pretty young there's also a much sought after classic uh, BMX, like one of the very first mongooses before they were in Walmart and cheap. I was on my way home and my rear bearings went. When I left home, it would skip every now and then and then grab and I'd pedal and then it would skip and I'd pedal. But by the time I came home from the other end of town, they had completely blown out so I couldn't pedal it. And yeah, I got halfway over that walk bridge and was like, yep, forget this bike. Chucked it. It was a classic at the time. Didn't realize that they were worth money. Probably 20 years after that, I seen one sell, one sold for like, it's like 10 grand. Little kid's BMX bike. Oh, I guess it wasn't a little kid's bike. It was back when the stunt bikes had big, huge, like 26 inch wheels on them and it had these blue, big, ugly rubber handle grips that like formed your hand and everything. I bet you the grips are still good on it if I pulled it out. Okay, still no yellow light, but I'm going. Next stop, I guess, is Tim Hortons on the edge of town, and then I'm gonna stop at a park, charge, eat a snack, have a green break. And then it's a straight shot home.